In this video, we'll briefly discuss the different items located in the CC Setup Checklist and where the information for each item should be added in the CC Admin. The Setup Checklist will have tabs on the lower portion of the page for each item listed here. Selecting a tab will show the information needed for that section of the IVR setup process along with instructions and sample data. The first tab, the Setup Checklist, is great for quickly viewing which sections are finished and which sections are not finished. The next tab, labeled User IDs, will show which user and user groups need to be created. Simply provide the first and last names, then enter the usernames and extensions. Usernames and extensions can be the same. However, agent IDs can be unique if added security is required. Now move to the group section and select which access rights a user should have by placing an X under the appropriate group. Agent for standard access, supervisor if a user manages a group of agents, and admin to enable a user to set up an access reporting. Groups are set up in the admin by navigating to System Setup, Groups, User Groups. After groups are set up, the users are set up by navigating to System Setup, Users. Now let's look at the next tab in our setup document, the Schedules tab. Schedules are used to identify when auto attendance, queue actions, and campaigns should start and stop. Schedules are also used to set open and close times for call queues. Be sure to enter the time zone, schedule name with details, and any holidays that should be set up. The different schedules are set up in the admin by navigating to System Setup, Schedules, Configure Schedules. The next tab in our document is labeled Prompts. These are pre-recorded messages that can be used throughout the CC client for auto attendant messages, call steering options, informational announcements, and hold music. Simply fill in the prompt name and script information as seen in the provided prompt examples. To create the prompts, Open the admin and navigate to System Setup Prompts. From here, you'll be able to upload a WAV file for each prompt or record and save each prompt directly. The next tab in our document is labeled Queues. This section will help determine how queues should be configured to handle inbound calls. Let's take a look at the general queue and overflow examples here. We'll start at the left with the entry point column. This identifies how a contact gets into the queue. Examples would be voice, SMS, web chats, or emails. For this overview, we'll use voice. Next is the abandon threshold, which determines whether a call is counted on reports as abandoned or not. For example, if an agent fails to answer a call prior to the abandon threshold of 30 seconds and the caller hangs up, it will be counted as abandoned. However, if the caller hangs up prior to the 30 seconds listed, it will not be counted as abandoned. Next is the SLA threshold, which is the longest amount of time a call should go before it is answered by an agent. In this example, we would expect an agent to answer the call within 30 seconds. The queue wrap-up time is how long an agent has to perform wrap-up responsibilities after ending a call. The queue handling information provides details surrounding what should happen to a call when no agents are available. Here we see a caller would hear hold music, then after 30 seconds hear an informational prompt message stating, please hold for the next available agent. Then after five minutes, the caller would be offered the option of being placed in the callback queue. The timeout column is the number of seconds a caller will sit in the queue before transferring to another destination. The timeout destination is used to determine where the caller will be transferred. In this example, after 1600 seconds, the caller is sent to the overflow queue. Destination can be configured to send callers to a specific location, such as a voicemail extension or queue. Queues can be set up in the admin by navigating to CC configuration, then queues. Now move to the bottom of the screen and select add. Enter some quick details, then choose Create Queue. The Details tab is where you'll enter the wrap-up time, SLA threshold, and abandon threshold we just covered on the checklist. The Actions tab is where the hold music, along with timeout seconds, timeout destination, and additional queue handling can be easily configured. Additional queue handling is set up by selecting Add Action. Then, simply enter the wait seconds and select an action type. Each action type in the drop-down will open different parameter fields to complete. Now let's go over to the Auto Attendant tab. In this section, you'll need to provide details on the call flow to help determine what actions should be taken for calls. In this example, the General Auto Attendant will play the main menu prompt, then route a caller based on a selection. Selecting one or two would route the caller to different queue locations, and selecting three would play a different prompt. Auto Attendants can be configured in the admin by navigating to System Setup, then Auto Attendant as seen here. 
Simply select Add, then enter a name in the pop-up and select OK. With the CSO row selected, move to the Dinas tab, then select the number assigned to the auto attendant. Under the Menu tab, we'll need to select a customer group, then determine if a schedule should be used. For this demo, we'll use a schedule so we can have the option of playing different messages to callers during non-business hours. Since we've selected a schedule, we would need to set up the Out of Schedule section here. Simply select a prompt message to play, followed by an action. For this demo, we'll select Transfer and send the caller to a voicemail extension during non-business hours. If a call is received during regular business hours, the auto attendant will move to the next step labeled Main. From here, we can easily set the IVR to play the main greeting. Simply set the action to play prompt, then select the prompt file to play. The numbered steps are used to control the call flow based on selections entered by a caller. Let's select step one and configure it to send a caller to a customer service queue. Now let's select step two and configure it to send a caller to a sales queue. More detailed training on the setup and configuration of the auto attendant will be covered in a separate video. Next, we'll look at the agent scripts tab. These scripts are unique to Adenis or Q and will pop up in the interface to help guide an agent's conversation with a caller. Simply provide the script name, Q or Dinas to associate it with, and the text that should be displayed to the agent. Agent scripts can be set up in the admin by navigating to System Setup, Agent Desktop, then Agent Scripts. The next tab is labeled D&D List. This section is used to describe the different D&D settings that should be available to agents when they select to go off-duty between calls. In this example, we have five available D&D settings we would like to set up. After these are set up, admins and supervisors would be able to pull agent reports for the different D&D state changes selected by each agent. D&D messages can be set up in the admin by navigating to System Setup, then D&D Messages. Some sample D&D items will already be listed. Simply select Add to create more. Now let's go over to the last tab in our document labeled Dispositions. Dispositions can be used by agents to tag a call with a resolution. Here we have some example dispositions along with the queues that should have access to them. Admins and supervisors will be able to pull reports based on an inner disposition code, which can be useful in reviewing the different types of calls received. To start setting up custom dispositions in the admin, simply navigate to System Setup, then select Dispositions. Now choose Add and enter your details. The complete process for configuring this section and each section we discussed throughout this video can be found in more detail in other admin training videos. And that concludes this brief overview of the CC Setup Checklist and where the information from each tab should be set up in the admin.